hello guys we are back with our next tutorial in this tutorial we will be seeing the problems of modal a particular a partial differential equation is equals to sine ax plus by or cos ax plus by so i hope everyone is now clear with the type of question how he is going to ask so in the previous tutorial we have learnt about e power ax plus by right i hope everyone remember the form and formulas so this is also similarly like that guys these problems are really really easy and remember these marks may be these questions may also be asked as five marks questions so be perfect in them okay so particular integral of one by the given question into sine term or the cos term that depends on the given question where the values okay these are the important in the previous we got d is equals to a and d dash is equals to b right but here we'll be having d square is equals to minus a square and d d dash is equals to okay sorry guys just give me a second okay and d square is equals to a square d d dash is equals to minus a b d dash whole square is equals to minus b square so i hope now everyone is clear with these three formulas okay let's just go through continuation of formulas so once you substituted the values that are d d d square d dash d and d d dash whole square if the denominator okay if the denominator is not equals to 0 this denominator not equals to 0 then we'll be writing particular integral is equals to 1 by the okay sorry guys okay it is 1 by the given value into sine a x plus b y okay if the if the denominator is equals to 0 then it is nothing but x power 2 r by 2 r factorial into sine ax plus by in the previous model we got x power r by r factorial here x power 2 r by r factorial 2 r factorial sorry so i hope everyone is now clear with it so let's go through a problem so that everyone will be clear just give me a second i'll be taking my rough book okay just let me write the question the question is nothing but solve d square plus 4 d dash minus 5 d dash whole square Okay, into z is equals to sine two x plus three y. Okay, so this is the given question. So let us go through this now. Okay, basically we, as in the previous tutorials, we'll be just finding the complementary function first. So d square plus four d d dash minus five d dash whole square is equals to zero. So axillary equation is nothing but d is equals to m and d dash is equals to 1. So let us substitute the value that is m square plus 4m minus 5 is equals to 0. Okay, as this is the multiple, so we can write 5, 1. Yeah, that's correct. m square minus 1 plus 5m minus 5 is equals to 0. Okay, here 1m. So we can take m common, m minus 1. Here we'll be taking plus one plus five common. So it is nothing but m minus one is equal to zero. So m is nothing but minus five comma one. So now I hope everyone is now clear with this general sorry, this complementary function. So let's go through the particular integral. Okay, let's write the complementary function perfectly. So we can just complete that part. X plus f2 into y minus 5x so i hope everyone is now clear up to here so let us go through the particular integral that is nothing but 1 by the given question plus 4 d d dash minus 5 d dash whole square into sine 2x plus 2y right okay as i have told you that d square is equals to minus a whole square right Okay, minus a square, sorry. We never write like that, guys. A square. And d, d dash is equals to minus a, b. d dash whole square is equals to minus b square. So, basically, a is equals to 2 and b is equals to 3, right? So, d square is equals to minus 4. d, d dash. Okay, let me write it. d, d dash is equals to minus 24. And d dash whole square is equals to is equals to minus nine. 
right? Okay, guys, this is a into b, right? 3 to the 6, right? Sorry. Okay, 3 to the 6. So, I hope everyone got d square, d, d dash, and d dash whole square. So, let us substitute them. Minus 4. Okay, let, let me write it as a numerator just for now. Let us verify it, whether it is 0 or not, or not so that we can directly substitute the value. Minus 6, minus 9. As all the values are in negative, so it is not equal to 0. So, we can just find the value. 1 by minus 4, minus 9, minus 6 is equals to sin 2x plus 3y okay that is nothing but 1 by 17 right okay it is 19 minus 19 sin okay okay just give me a second guys okay here i have forgot about 4 and 5 right here we'll be having into 4 and into 5 so the values will be changing okay so that is sorry just for a small mistake minus 4 into 4 into 9 9 4 sir it is sorry that is 6 4 sir guys okay, just give me a second i'll be just writing the whole part again sorry for this okay just give me a second so once we have substituted the values from there i'll be writing the solution now okay we got d square is equals to minus 4 d d dash is equals to minus 6 and d dash whole square we got it as minus 9 so let us substitute the values particular integral is equals to 1 by minus 4 plus 4 into minus 6 minus 5 into minus 9 into sine 2x plus 3y okay guys right so 1 by minus 4 minus 6 4 is a 24 9 5 is a, it's 45 right plus 45 sine 2x plus 3y by solving it we're gonna get 1 by 17 into sine 2x plus 3y okay this is what the particular integral we got already complementary function so General solution is nothing but complementary function plus particular integral. You can just write it down. So I hope everyone is now clear with this problem. Okay, let's go through one more problem, guys. Okay, just let me remove this book. Okay. So the given question is like this: those squares at by dou x square plus r plus those squares at by dou x dou y plus minus six those squares at by dou y square is equals to cos three x plus two y. So basically, a is equals to three and b is equals to two. And initially, we'll be substituting equals to zero. And we'll be finding the auxiliary equation and we'll be finding the roots and we'll be finding the complementary function. Here comes the role of particular integral. So we'll be substituting the values of d square as minus a square and d d dash as minus a b and d dash whole square as minus b square. So once we substituted the values here also we got the remainder as some value that is not equal to zero. So it is in the normal form. If not it will be in the form of x power 2r by 2r factorial into nothing but if it is in terms of cos it will be cos ax plus by okay guys the general solution is nothing but complementary function plus particular integral so i hope everyone is now clear with complementary function and particular integral and all clear with general solution okay this is the general solution guys okay so in the next tutorial we will be going through the next pro next type of problems Thank you. Thanks for watching.